Hey, wonderful YouTubers. I'm sorry, I'm like, I have been so busy with my life lately. And I know that's no excuse, but um, I have had a couple finals lately because um, the way my college works, I do eight weeks and then um, I take finals and that kind of thing. So it's been really crazy for me lately, school wise. And then oh, so many family things have been going on, and I've just been going crazy. But, um, I want to make a video for you guys kind of reviewing. I'm going to make a lot of reviews because I've gotten a lot of stuff recently. And where is it? There we go. Um, the first, I think that this video I'm just going to focus, I'm going to do one item, one video at a time. That way you like, people can look at one video for one thing and that kind of thing. They don't have to watch all this other stuff. Um, the first item is because I needed to get a foundation, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a foundation. Especially since for me, my skin, I don't have like, I don't think I have really bad, like, my skin doesn't have a lot of discoloration. I don't have too much I have to cover, cover up or anything. So, um, but I got, uh, I'm sorry, my mom fucked in the door. <laughs> but I bought this Rimmel London Clean Finish 100% Poreless, and it's supposed to, like, have a matte finish, and, I, and it is in 30, 30, 330 sand. So, that's what it is. Um, um, the good things about this, um, it does give a very nice clean finish, as you can see I'm wearing it. Um, other good things, it's not a bad price, and it's still very good quality. I think it's, it's decent quality. Um, other things I liked about this, oh, I should show you, this is something I really like about a foundation. It's like a little brush, so you can get every bit of foundation out of your bottle, like, you're getting your money's worth. And, I really like that, um, it's really, really awesome about that. Um, other things, um, I also like that it's lightweight. Now, I know some people are like, oh my gosh, lightweight, I don't want lightweight foundation. I did, I didn't, I think the main things for me was I wanted just some simple coverage, and I didn't want my skin to look weird. Because there are foundations out there you can that you get, and it's just like, my skin looks blotchy, and it looks cakey, and it looks like I have a red, a bunch of redness on my skin. Like, I don't, I just didn't want that. So I, of course, tested it out, and I found this one, and I really liked it. Um, actually, the one I really wanted, which was a little bit more expensive, which was the Neutrogena. It was a Neutrogena foundation, and I have love Neutrogena products, but of course, uh, I'm on a budget because <laughs> I'm going to college, like I've said before. Um, so I can't, oh, I can't spend a lot of money on products, even though I would love to. I mean, come on, the, there are some makeup products I would love to have, hair products I'd love to have, but it's just not, and not reasonable for me at the moment. Um, but this is great, um, if you can really see, I'm wearing it. Um, the only thing, um, I have to really, I mean, my pores look really nice. I just look like I'm wearing, like, my pores don't look really huge or anything. Um, I think it does what it says. Um, it's... It's for a natural, even complexion, which is what I want. Um, I did have to use a little bit of um, um, concealer, like cover up, for certain spots. But those are like red spots, and that's, I think, normal. So, other than that, I mean, it's a very nice, nice product. If you're wanting to, if you're just needing, I mean, there are better products out there, I will admit. But it's not a horrible product. Um, I don't know, I think... I'm trying to think of things I didn't like about it. Um, I guess I, I realized I could probably go for more coverage. I don't know. This isn't good if you want a lot of coverage. Like, don't get this if you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is a great price and I'm going to get, my skin is look amazing. Um, I also think that if you're sensitive, like, if you break out really easy, this isn't a good idea. Because lately I've been breaking out, but it's not been that bad, so, and... I don't know, it's just, I guess I need to clean my face a little better or something. But, um, yeah, I don't think this would be good if, for that either. I'm not sure, though, because you should always test your um, foundations and stuff. I don't know. I think someone said that they, it takes a while for your skin to get used to different, like if you're using a different foundation and this is the first time I've used this stuff. 
but I like it. It really does what it says, and it's worth the price. So definitely a good, good buy for me. Um, so I have other products I'm going to review, but this is a great product. So or if you if you need a foundation and you're just a quick foundation, you want liquid, a liquid foundation is great. So thanks for watching, guys. There are more to come. Bye!